lipstick check. Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I have a Lola unboxing for you. My last Lola unboxing was with my sister, and I was like, that, this is my last Lola unboxing ever. And then I realized that I had bought a three-month subscription, and it wasn't up until the next month. So that was December. I'm not sure if they sent me the December box or the January box because... It is so late and I fought with them for this box. Why I fought for this box, I'm not too sure why I fought for this box so much because it's Lola Beauty Box. I mean, I'm gonna open this box and see what month it is. Hopefully, I'm hoping that they maybe by accidentally sent me the January box, but my luck is never that good. So it's probably the December 2018 box. Um, as you guys know, I don't know if you do or not, but if you don't know, Lola Beauty Box is $21 a month, and they are a beauty subscription, kind of like BoxyCharm, where you get five full-size products every month, and their customer service is just horrible, and, um, yeah, that's, that's really all I have to say about Lola Beauty Box. I'm hoping that in 2019, they either do really well, and they, they get their customer service, like, under control, and they change it up a little bit so it's better, and that they send better products in 2019. I'm hoping that is what happens with them, but I don't know if it will because they're Lola Beauty Box and you never know what's gonna come in your boxes and you never know if it's gonna be broken or good. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's open it up and see which one this is. Both of my kids are home from school today, so if you hear them, that's, that's just what's going on today. My kids are home. Also, I painted one nail. And I forgot the rest. Why? How? I don't know. I don't know how I forgot to paint the rest of my nails. All right. Okay. Here is the box when you open it up. And this is the December box. Okay. So December, it's the most wonderful time of year is the theme. And here is the card. So let's see. The first thing I'm pulling out is the S. Lore, the Art of Beauty Sifflorefficient Lifting Mask. Cl no, Chlorophyll. Chlo chlorophyll? Chlorophyll? Chlorophyll Lifting Max. What does that chloroform? Isn't chloroform bad for you? But that's another thing, right? Not chlorophyll. We'll just keep going. Paraben free, science driven, nature derived. And it is a lifting mask. Okay, skin tightening mask. Skin tightening mask, the dried film of natural milk proteins, plant extracts, seaweed extracts, and minerals tighten the skin, help enhance blood circulation, and helps diminish fine lines. This retails for $20. So let's open her up. And oh, that's beautiful packaging. Here is the packaging, that is beautiful. Definitely pretty packaging. I love the color, but to tell you guys the truth, I have like 700 face masks right now. So I'm actually going to put this aside. That is what I'm going to do. The next thing is this, and this is the Real Her Be Brave Gorgeous Metallic Lip, lip Quid. Lip Quid? Lipstick. Lip Quid? I've never heard of liquid. No, not liquid. I've never heard of liquid. Quid. I've never heard of lip quid, but they're probably, it's probably just liquid, but they named, they spelled it differently. Oh my God, Abby, get it together. Okay, so here's the packaging. This retails for $21. One swipe of the richly pigmented metallic lipstick will give you a bold lip that dries to a matte metallic finish. The formula is lightweight and non-drying on the lips. All right, so it's supposed to be like a liquid because it's supposed to dry. Not a lip, not a lipstick. Do you ever have a day where you just feel like your head's just like full of air and you can't think? That's today. Oh my, man, my. Okay, so here is, oh, okay, so I've seen these before. Here is this, it's not, it looks like a, it looks like it would be a lipstick, like that you could take off the top just like a regular lipstick, but it's not, it's a lip, this one is a liquid lipstick. Maybe that's why it says lip quid. Okay, and let's, it's a regular doe foot applicator. Let's swatch it. It does go on really, really creamy, like it, kind of like a mousse. And there is the shade. 
That's actually beautiful and I'll definitely wear that. Yes, I will. Okay. The next thing is this and this is by Bang Beauty and this is the Um I don't have this in my I don't have this on my paper, but this, I guess this is an extra. Let's see. Oh, wait, maybe. I don't know why I have this because they did send another, I don't know. This was a blush that came broken in everybody's thing. Um, but this is the color. I have this already because they sent a replacement for it. So maybe because this was so late, they sent me an extra. I'm going to put this aside as well. I don't mind Bang Beauty blushes. I think that they're actually good. I do, I don't like the Bang Beauty um, eyebrow pomade. Um, there's a few things that I don't like from Bang Beauty, but I don't mind their blush. I think this is actually really pretty. This is in the colored Darling, and I do have this, and I use it. Okay, the next thing is this, and this is the... This is a... Eco Bella Soft Eyeliner Pencil. This retails for $17.95. Holy crap. Make a flawless point, beautifully vibrant, soft softly sophisticated and always natural formulated to glide on smoothly and evenly to define eyes with a vibrant color i can't believe this retails for 17.95 let me take off the safety seal saved seal we've got a saved seal this is in the color seal oh wow do you ever smell like a pencil like the like the wood from a pencil that's exactly what it smells like like wood okay and this is a very hard pencil and it's brown so there we go it's just a brown eyeliner I don't know if I showed you the eyeliner I don't remember see I told you my mind's not working so here's the eyeliner so I'm definitely gonna keep this in the lipstick okay the next thing is this and this is the mint pear rounded soft blend and it's the m64 brush this retails for $24, $24 for a brush. No way. Um, use the Mint Pear Rounded Soft Blend M64 Makeup Brush for a flawless professional makeup application. Precision application of a highlighter, setting powder, blush, bronzer, or powder contour. Okay, so um, I think I'm not even going to take the plastic off this because I have a lot of brushes like this and I also have some really great highlighting brushes that I use all the time so I probably wouldn't use this very much so I'm going to put this aside but here's the brush a $24 brush I don't know about you guys but I don't spend that much money on brushes I just don't because I don't want to all right and the next and last item is this this is the Elz this is the Esmeralda 2 by Beauty Creations. This is an eyeshadow palette. This retails for $11.99. These are just as these are just so well balanced and well thought out palettes. It's hard to come across an eyeshadow palette that has such nice variety of not only tones but also finish, finishes. Each palette is essentially half half mattes and half shimmers, give or take. Plus the whole layout is very aesthetically pleasing. So, I just unboxed my Marrier box. In my Marrier box, I received this palette. So I am going to give this away because I already have the Marrier palette. I mean, I already have the Esmeralda 2 palette. And in that video, I was like, where did I see this palette before? And I didn't want to swatch it because I thought I had it. But where I saw it was on the Lola Beauty um, spoilers. That's where I was seeing it. So it is a really pretty palette. I'm going to just take the plastic off so you can actually see the colors. Um, I... I've never used it. I have. I don't have, have any idea how it performs, but it's a very pretty palette. It does have a mirror right here, a nice big mirror, and here are the shades. And I think that it's really pretty. It has some blues and greens and yellows and reds and browns. Like, it's a nice palette that has a good array of colors. And um, from the reviews that I've read on it, they're very, the reviews are like, some are good and some are bad. There wasn't very many in between, so I'm not really sure how this actually performs, but I'm gonna give this away with the mask, the blush, and the brush. <laughs> Dahlia! I'm gonna give the palette, the eyeshadow palette, the Bang Beauty blush, the brush from Mint Pear, and the face mask away in this video. I'm going to do a comment picker, so all you have to do is comment below. Since the holidays are over and there's really no more holidays until, I guess Easter and, and 
Valentine's Day. I mean, those are holidays, but they're not the big holidays. But since the holidays are over, um, let me know what your favorite holiday is. What's your favorite holiday of the season? Is it Christmas? Is it Thanksgiving? Let me know. I love to hear from you guys. So let me know what your favorite holiday, we, our favorite holiday is of, of the year in the comments below. I use a comment picker and what the comment picker does is it picks one comment out of all the comments and when that, that comment is picked, I will go onto the comment and I will say, congratulations, you are the winner of my giveaway. All you have to do is email me with your shipping information so I can send out your prizes. So that is it, that's all you have to do. I'm going to end this. I'm gonna end this giveaway on February 15th. So all you have to do is comment your favorite holiday and then you will be entered. Also make sure you're subscribed to my channel and like and like this video. And that's it for today, guys. What did you think about the December Lola box? I know it's super late, but I wanted to make sure I got it up because I kind of knew it was going to be in the box. Um, I didn't know exactly what was going to be in there, but I kind of knew what would be in there. I knew there would be a brush and a lip product and that eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't think this was a bad box for Lola. I think that Lola just did a lot of damage themselves with all the problems and issues that they had this year. 2018 was not a good year for Lola. There was a lot of broken products. There was a lot of customer service issues. And on me, on a personal level, I had a lot of customer service issues. I I reached out to them continuously and they, they just didn't help me until I got super frustrated and I actually wrote a frustrating email to them. And then someone who answered me from customer service was really nice and they did, um, they did help me and they ended up getting my box shipped out to me. But it shouldn't have to be that much of a hassle to get something that you paid for sent to you. But hopefully 2019 they will just get better and they will send better products. They'll send they'll send the products better in better packaging so nothing gets broken. Um, I wish them all the best but I definitely will not be subscribing to them again. So that is it for today guys. I hope you guys are all having a really great start to your week and um, that is it for today. Don't forget to enter my giveaways. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. I also have three other giveaways going on, but I'll make sure to link them in my description box for you, as well as I'll link this box in my description box as well, so you can go check it out for yourselves. And I hope everyone has a great day. I love you guys so, so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I bit my lip. <laughs> I said bye and bit my lip.